If you are a real estate agent and you are tired of cold calling, door knocking, paying for ads that flat out don't work, or just tired of not knowing how to generate leads, then this is the channel for you. We are four rockstar agents who have come together to help fellow agents achieve financial freedom as well as location and time freedom. My name is Andy Hollis along with my partners Aileen Fountain, David Doran, and Tim Hollanden. Together we have over 50 plus years experience and knowledge in the real estate and sales and training industry and we are hoping to pass that knowledge on to you. So let's get started. So you're thinking about switching brokerages and you want to learn all there is to know about eXp Realty. Well, today I am here going to interview Sean Sturrock. Sean has been with eXp Realty for six years. He is also a Freedom Team leader. He uh, had 25 years of corporate experience before getting into the real estate industry. And you're not going to want to miss his story because... Uh, two weeks into becoming a new agent, he saw massive, massive success, and I cannot wait for you to hear his story. So let's get to it. Hi, Sean. Hello. How are you, Aileen? Good. So it's been, uh, your story is, is a little unique from mm -hmm. most, and you also have had a lot more success than most. <laughs> Very fortunate. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so you were leaving corporate America. You thought, hey, I'm going to get my real estate license. I want to um, I want to flip a handful of houses a year, mm -hmm. uh, make that be my living. And so you got your real estate license. Yep. Yeah. And then what? Well, that's uh, so April 17th of 2017 is when I joined. So I'm about six years, one month. And like you said, I got in to begin with to see if I could flip a couple houses, work on trying to get maybe one or two rental properties every year and thinking, oh, where could I be in the next you know, 10 years, get myself a dozen rental properties. That was a path that was going down. And I, three weeks before taking my test, because I was thinking that through going, well, heck, I might as well get my real estate license, save on my commission. So I started to pursue that interview with about a half a dozen brokers in Dallas. And then three weeks before taking my test, happened to be visiting with a good friend of mine. His name is Rob Flick. And Rob and I were having dinner that night, and he begins to give me a stock tip. Um, and that stock tip, as I began to ask questions, I realized this is a brokerage he's is talking about. And then I realized he had come out of retirement, and he was a part of it. So to understand Rob's background, he had been retired for 10 years, other than a land developer and that kind of stuff. He had come out of retirement when he saw the EXP model. And I remember him saying, well, as, let me just say this. As the dinner was going on, I began to ask questions, realized, again, it was a brokerage, and he was a part of it. I looked at Rob and went, I thought you were retired from real estate. On the residential side, he goes, I, I was, Sean, but when I saw this model, he goes, he looked at me real seriously, and I respected him. He owned three houses. He's a multimillionaire, definitely looked up to him, and he looked at me and said, Sean, I'm telling you, this is going to change the entire landscape of real estate forever in the way agents are paid. And, uh, and I looked at him, I said, dude, I'm getting my license in three weeks. He's like, what? He goes, you getting your license? I said, yeah. He goes, have you ever heard of EXP? At that time, I hadn't. Well, prior to coming for dinner that night, he was over at my house. He had asked me, and I had no idea what it was about. He said, hey, would it be okay? Do you have an office or something I could go into? I have to do a webinar tonight around 9 o'clock. I said, yeah, I said, definitely. So I didn't know what it was about until we're having dinner. One thing led to another. It was EXP. I told him I'm getting my license. He does the webinar that night. I remember sitting back behind him in my office watching him do a webinar to probably 50 agents around the country. And, I mean, I'm back there, Aileen, trembling because I had come from a, a position in corporate America where I'd done pretty well it still wasn't really set up where I needed to be financially to retire one day. And my story, which is kind of crazy, which is why I was so hungry, about a year prior to getting my real estate license, I did a very bad investment, an oil and gas investment where I put almost my entire savings, a full wing. I wasn't alone. I had a doctor friend of mine, a chiropractor, a business owner, everybody that was savvy, everybody put in well over six figures. We were all going to like make three to four times our money in six to eight months. Well, we all put our money in. I didn't tell my wife. I didn't tell my parents. I was going to surprise her, take on a two-week trip to Paris, the whole deal, right? Two months after the investment went in, the whole oil and gas industry tanked, and we lost everything. I found myself literally almost in a fetal position going, oh, my gosh. I was 51 years old at that time going, I've lost everything. What the heck? I'm never going to retire. And that's what led to this whole pursuing of going, what else could I do? Because corporate America wasn't definitely going to get me there. I just lost my 401k. And that's why I read Robert Kiyosaki, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, all that. And I realized more millionaires are created in real estate than this. I'm like, real estate's the avenue I'm going to go. That's when I began to pursue it. Met with Rob, three weeks before getting my license, CEXP. Literally, I remember kind of shaking. 
when the webinar was over, I remember Rob turned around, looked at me, and he said, man, give me some feedback. And I looked at him and I said, Rob, how many other brokerages are doing what this brokerage is doing where they're paying agents multiple ways and all that kind of stuff? And he said, Sean, no one they were aware of. I remember looking at him at Ling and I went, Rob, if, if that's real, what you just share with me, why wouldn't every agent eventually join EXP? He kind of looked at me and smiled and said, well, Sean, one day we think they will. When I saw this, Aileen, there was 3,500 agents. And if it wasn't for me looking up to Rob and had been in the real estate industry for 30 years, I'd have never done it. But I trusted him. He had already been there for a year, was doing exceptionally well. So long story short, I pushed my chips in, and it's been an incredible whirlwind. I'm very fortunate and blessed. I saw the model. I was so blown away. We can go back and forth on different things, but you know, fast forward six years, my whole life, not only have I replenished everything I lost, that in tenfold, now I'm living a lifestyle I never even thought would ever happen to me in my entire lifetime. Now I have time freedom and money freedom all because of this model. It's been life changing. It truly has. Well, it helps that you've brought on some heavy, heavy hitters. Yeah, <laughs> yeah very, very fortunate and blessed. Yes. Um, so you just, you know, you were, you, when we were talking earlier, I mean, you, you came over as a brand new agent. <clears throat> you started um, doing some flips and you really only knew about a dozen realtors yes but you did happen to know some, some really of the right big ones, ones. <laughs> so <laughs> let's talk about jay nelson because jay nelson is i mean he is one of the top 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 um agents at our brokerage yes. he he sells a lot of real estate but he is um he's been a phenomenal attractor he's yeah. got a lot of yeah. energy yeah, a really positive person. Uh, we'll we'll give you the shirt off his back. Yeah, him incredible. and Ashley have helped um, thousands of yeah. agents, yeah. literally, including myself. And so, tell me the story about bringing him on because you know, but I I yeah. when when uh, when my sponsor Tim brought EXP to me in December of 2017, I had never heard of it. Yeah, yeah. and I, I mean. You know, Jay Nelson was also another former Remax agent, also another former broker owner of Remax. Yeah, yeah. huge, huge uh, agent in the Nashville market, and um, so he he kind of had a similar response to you that I had to Tim when Tim tried to bring it to me. Yeah, but yeah. I had respect for Tim, so I, I did did take a look at it. And same thing with Jay, but. Tell everybody about the story of bringing Jay yeah, Nelson on because yeah. he is he's he's one of those hinge players along with Rob and Gene and, and a handful of other hinge players Absolutely. that have come to the company mm -hmm. that have just helped explode it and he's yeah. one of those key people. Yeah. So 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 Jay and I were friends and Ashley and stuff were friends and we had done a previous business he and I years earlier and had done some things so our relationship was pretty tight and had because of some success I had in a previous business with he I think is the reason he gave me the time of day. Anyway, long story short, I called Jay and I, I did not know how big a producer he was in real estate until I connected with him. We began a dialogue and I remember him saying, uh, you know, Sean, I've been at Remax for 13 years. I love it. I bleed blue. It's my entire family. It's changed my life. Um, he said, I was, you know, thousand houses sold, rookie of the year. He's giving me these credentials and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I didn't realize how big a player he was. He was doing 20 to 25 million in production with a part-time assistant. Yeah, the guy's an animal. <laughs> right. Anyway, long story short. I just kept saying, man, will you do me a favor? I'd had my license, you guys, for two weeks. <laughs> and Jay so, was doing 20, 25 million back when the average sales price, oh, you know, yeah. six years ago was completely yeah. different than it is 55, 65 now. transactions it, a year. Yeah, just, I mean, now that, 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 that number doesn't shock you, but if you put it in perspective of the time frame, they yeah. were good, num really good numbers. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, of course, he's blown his real estate business up as well. Yeah, but exactly. yeah, anyway, I wanted to clarify that because he yeah. was a in that time frame of 2017, a major player. Exactly, exactly. So to set this up, because it really is an incredible story, and I, I'm indebted to he and Ashley forever. They That was, I think, 90% of the reason I'm having success is because he came on board, and here's why I say that. So when I found out his production, the numbers he was doing, all that kind of stuff, and it took me, it was about a 45-minute phone call before I could get Jay on a webinar. He just kept asking me questions. I'm like, no, nah, Jay, it's a great question. I'd do my best answer. I'd be like, it's all going to be on the webinar. He finally gets on, but before getting on the webinar, I'll never forget what he said to me. Um, he said, Sean, I'm going to be up front with you. You've got a 1 in 1,000 chance of ever showing me anything I haven't already been aware of or seen. He goes, I'm not trying to brag or boast. I'm called almost every day. Someone's trying to market something. Right. So, I yeah, mean, I totally get it. I respect you. We do me a favor. Look at this thing. Shoot some holes in it. Am I making the right choice to hang my license here? He gets on the webinar that night. It was 4 o'clock, and Rob Flick was doing the webinar. Jay watches it at 4. 
completely blown away right after the webinar is over. He's in Asheville, in Dallas. Jay calls me after the webinar and says immediately on the phone to me, he goes, Sean, that was the most brilliant brokerage model I've ever seen in my life. He goes, I knew somebody would figure it out. Then he began to kind of sell me. I'd had my license, you guys, for two weeks and hadn't sold a house yet. And he looked at me and some keywords that stuck with me forever. He goes, you know what they've done? I'm like, what do you mean? What have they done? He goes, Sean, they've taken the model and they flipped it on its head. Instead of making the age of the last one paid, they made him the first one paid. You guys, he saw it at 4 o'clock. 6 o'clock, he shows his beautiful wife, Ashley. 8 o'clock, I have him on a three-way call with Rob Flick. At 10 o'clock, he signed up day one. Was never going to leave Remax. I say that to go, guys, my confidence spiked. I'm like, here's a mega producer that loved what he did and where he was at. And he pulled the trigger like that. And, I, and because of that, and Rob having, or excuse me, because Jay has so much influence and so many contacts, I don't know the number, but I bet within two months, 10 people had joined him. Well, understanding our model, that had a massive impact on my family and I. The moment I opened up that second tier, I was making an extra 35, 40,000 a year in passive income just from what Jay did in 60 days. <laughs> so all of a sudden I began to go, oh my gosh, this is an incredible what this could do for agents with the stock and everything. And I just say that to go, I kind of shifted my focus going, I'm not going to continue to risk trying to learn more about flipping houses and rental properties if everything here is at EXP and I can get paid multiple ways without any out of pocket and there isn't much risk. So I said, you know what, let me put a more of a focus on this. I began to build in that very first year. Very fortunate. I just had about 16 agents join me frontline that I brought and Jay was one of them. By the time I looked up a year later, there was 400 agents on my team. My whole life completely changed. It went well up over multiple five figure a month and I'm like, oh my gosh. And so I saw things begin to shift and go, what can I do to help all these other agents have the experience that I have? So I began to, with Jay's help and a bunch of us got together and went, for those who want to, let's give them this other opportunity. Let's all begin to teach them how they can build a group that can truly create passive income and change people's lives in a big way because the stock's a given. As if there's one thing I always say I love about EXP, you come over here and you sell houses like any broker, you get paid, but you also get stock. Sell a house, get paid, just get stock. House at some point in time, this little stock piece over here, I've got hundreds of agents on the team now that have 100, 300, 500. I have several went over a seven figures in stock. You're a big an icon agent, Aileen. So you've been here for uh, I'm, five yep. years. You've got to be, if this stuff goes back where it was, which we keep talking about in the next couple, we hope it stays where it's at now, the right. stock price. But so you're going to do phenomenal. Yeah. So anyway, I sell that to go. We, Found herself about four years into this. There was about 1,500 of us you know, around the country, and I think we were probably in two or three other countries. And with Jay and several other people, we all came together and go, what can we do to take this to a whole other level? And we formed what's called the Freedom Team. And there are six of us that are kind of leadership, and trust me, I'm, I'm the least of the leaders on this team, as in I'm surrounded with people that two of them own brokerages that rolled their brokerages in. One guy had flipped 350 houses in a year. Uh, Stephanie is probably top 1% of the world with real estate, Most land definitely. developer, multimillionaire. So I say that to go, how blessed I am to have these five other leaders with me. We formed this freedom team. And now the whole focus has been shifted to going, how much value can we add to our agents? Agents that are looking to potentially come to EXP, we've got masterminds that go Monday through Thursday. We're plugging everybody in, helping everybody grow their production, plugging in for those who want to build a revenue share type team. We have separate classes for that, and there's all different ways to attract. There's just so many different avenues that are over here at EXP where an agent can come over. Here's what I always say when I'm sharing with another agent. I say this respectfully and sincerely. I'll say, knowing, you know, especially I've been in real estate 10 years, 15 years, whatever, I'm like, if you stay where you're at for five more years and keep doing what you're doing, what does life look like five years from now? And you know probably the answer to that. You're doing this 20, not much different than it did five years previous. I said, you come over to EXP and you're here for five years, let's compare the two because there is no comparison. If you're going to be selling real estate and you're trying to treat that as a full-time career and grow it, there's not a model like this. No. I've got so many agents whose whole lives have changed in five years. I'll give you one or two stories, which I find, and I'll keep uh, last names out of it so people don't turn around and yep. call them, even though we've already mentioned a couple. But I have a lady in Dallas, Nicole, been in real estate probably 18 to 19 years. She was, when I contacted her, she'd been at KW for about six years, loved it. And she was doing about 12 million. So she was a big producer, sure. um, doing about 35 to 40 transactions. So I knew she would qualify for Icon. And after Nicole joined, she told me this later. She goes, Sean, you were halfway through the presentation and we were on the stock piece. And she in the back of her mind was going, 
okay, I'd be crazy not to come try this. Because here's what I try to tell people, and this is so true. Come over here and you've heard so much about EXP. Come give it a shot. Give it everything you've got for 12 months. If it doesn't work out, you can probably go right back to your broker and negotiate a better split. Or go to probably any brokerage, right, that would take you. But I say all that to go. Nicole came over here, put her head down, began to go to work. You guys, she's been here now five years. Her next four years, she went 13 million, 15 million, 18 million, 23 million. Production grew all four years. Her stock accumulated to well over half a million dollars. She had about, without even trying, she had about 14 or 15 people in her rev share group because people would contact her. She was a big producer. She's making two to 3,000 a month over there. She did exactly what we keep telling everybody. You come over here and go to work for four to five years, you'll, you'll look up four to five years into it, and at minimum, you'll have options. What was Nicole's option? I don't know how old Nicole is. I'm going to say late 40s probably, maybe early 50s. Nicole, last year, purposely pulled back the throttle off her $23 million in production, purposely did around $7 million, which she could do in her sleep, right? She's beginning to turn most of her buyers and stuff, unless it's really close family or really close clients, she turns them over to people on her team, does a 25-75 split. She went from working 50 to 60-hour weeks. She now works 20 to 25 hours a week. Spends time with her grandchildren, travels with their family, all because this model got her out of, at least retired her 10 years earlier. She's going to keep selling real estate, she said, for probably three or four more years just to accumulate the stock. And her and her husband are going to ride off into the sunset, and it would have never happened had it not been free XP. One incredible story. Let me give you one more. Um, yeah, I, to me, I, I'm going to tell you, I really resonate with that story, Sean. Um, I will tell you, without a doubt, that is so similar to what I have experienced. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm a planner. I was, I was financially planning. I have already had, you know, when I was at Remax, I had a, a 10 year plan to accumulate enough rental properties to, to have something for down the road. Yeah. Now, of course, you know, that takes a lot of effort, a lot of work, a lot of capital yeah. Yeah. to, to accomplish that. Now I have blown my real estate portfolio personally way out of the water from what I thought I could, uh, could do in that time frame. But part of that is because exp um and, and the other thing is is with the stock i mean i don't would never put all my eggs in one basket mm -hmm. but the fact that this stock is continually accumulating and accumulating and accumulating um you you will find yourself looking up five years down the road and you will go oh my god yep look at what i was able to accomplish in five years i'll tell people i said you know if you're analyzing exp over the f just 12 month period yeah. versus where you are now you're not your hair is not going to light on fire yeah yeah if you project it or look at it as it because you don't understand how it all compounds you exactly. don't understand how the stock and revenue share component builds mm -hmm. as you're building your business they're all three building together yeah yeah. So together they make a tidal wave. Absolutely. Yeah. And then you get to that place five, six, seven years down the road where you can throttle back on the sales side because you have these other areas that were growing you too. You got it. You got so it. So 100% your story about Nicole is absolutely truth because I've experienced it over yeah. my last five years. Yeah, that's awesome. I'll give you one other yeah, story. Yeah, I want to hear which your is, other story. Uh, so and I'll leave his last name also <laughs> off, but... Uh, I will tell you how the revenue share can work and literally change your life. So one of the guys I called about seven months in, his name is Jeff, out of Colorado Springs. I live in Dallas. I called Jeff. He's a buddy of mine as well. And we have an I, interview with Jeff as well. Oh, you Be do? Be sure to check awesome. that out. Yeah, he's, he's phenomenal. So I called Jeff. Jeff's kind of same thing. Happy was where he was at. He was at a flat fee brokerage. I want to say paying three ninety five or something a transaction. But anyway, he's like, you know, he's always open-minded. He goes, I'll take a look at anything. He never good friends. He looks at it. Joins two weeks later. In his very first week, turns around and calls into my backyard a guy by the name of Aaron. He and I, he and Jeff back in the year 2000 joined the Craig Proctor coaching program. Uh -huh. They both met each other, stayed with that guy for a long time. Both became big producers. Anyway, Jeff calls Aaron. Aaron at that time had been in real estate for about 16 years because he's about 21 right now. 16 years, big producer. He top 50 with KW in the world. Um, when we reached out to him, he'd been running his own independent brokerage for about six years, had nine agents on the team. They were doing about 47 million. Well, Aaron was the rainmaker. Aaron was doing about 23 million. And Aaron knew this, but every time he'd pull his numbers out, his office was upside down. He had a very high overhead, a standalone building. I want to say it was almost 30,000 a month, his overhead. Anyway, I say all that to go. Aaron looked at the model. 
and, and finally began to just share was how stressed out he was trying to run this brokerage. He couldn't tend to grow it much more than about 10 agents. It would shriek down. They're going out the back door as fast as they're coming in. And like I said, he was upside down if he pulled his production out. So he said, you know what? I give up. I'm coming over. This is crazy. Comes over and only four of the nine came with him. Who came with him? The producers. So he didn't really lose anything. He came over. He didn't do anything with the traction. He does what Aaron does well, put his head down and began to sell. Well, he caught us right when the stock went public. And we were on that massive ride back a few years ago. Yeah. In two and a half years, his stock went to $1.2 million. Now he's doing 23 to 25 million, but in two and a half years, he had accumulated a stock that went over 1.2 million. He pulls out 2,000 shares, paid his house off, paid his cars off, 100% debt free, picks up the phone, calls Jeff on the phone and says, Jeff, I've been in real estate for now 19 and a half years. The last two and a half years have entirely changed my life. Thank you for calling me. These are the stories they lead you hear all the now that's that's a mega story, but you hear these stories right now where agents come over here and maybe even on the revenue share three years into it, they're making twenty five hundred a month, but it's covering their house payment. They're not sweating out going up. I don't close a deal this yeah. month and or you see people, the stock builds up and all of a sudden they're like, you know what? I'm having a couple of months where I'm just not closing houses. They can go pull four or five thousand dollars out, use it to pay their bills and everything over here, like we just said earlier. You come over here and go to work like you're going to do anyway, you will look up in four to five years, you'll have options you've never had before in real estate. So Yeah, I brought an agent over in 2019 and she bought herself a new Mercedes with the stock. <laughs> there you go. There um, you go. Yeah, I mean, I would say the two most underrated components of eXp Realty are what you can do over time with the stock and the revenue share. Even if you're not an icon agent, mm -hmm. um, you're still building stock and revenue share or you have the ability to do those things alongside with selling real estate. If you're only selling six, six, eight, 10, 12 houses a year, doesn't matter. You're still building stock and revenue share. You're still getting paid three ways versus just getting your commission check. So you're building this, you, you know, alongside. And if your career, you still have, most of us still have another three, five, 10, 15 years left in our career. Yeah. Yeah. The, the accumulation is massive, even if you aren't an icon agent, even if you aren't earning and accumulating as much as some of these, these big stories that, that Sean and I are, are sharing with you, um, it still changes your life. I mean, yeah. even if your revenue share only averaged, you know, a thousand dollars a month, I mean, what does that do? It pays your, your car, your insurance, your exactly. groceries, gas, yeah, yeah. you know, um, all that stuff is important. And, and what you don't understand is that thousand dollars can, can grow to 2000 to 3000 to 4000 as your career yeah. goes. Same thing with the stock. And I mean, I'm sitting on, you know, I've, I, I've accumulated over 15,000 shares of stock and oh my gosh uh, I think I'm, awesome. I'm around 14 or 15,000 shares of stock in my five years now look the stock split on my birthday in 2020 nice okay so that was huge yeah. and that's where where we saw the stock run up yeah. was leading to that split that he's talking about um but but you just cannot fathom what that does to your business until you really get over and yeah. get involved I mean you just you can't understand how impactful that is yeah. to to your business, to your life, to your future life, to your family. And let me can may I share this with with all of you guys out there? Like when you just said agents that are out selling six, eight, ten, twelve, fifteen houses, and maybe you're doing fairly well, whatever your goal might be, but you're wanting to go to another level. Here's something else that I've that we've implemented that it took us a while to figure it out. But I've been I've been here for six years. First four years I was here. We're always talking about our KV Core is our serum system that we decided, right? We could have chosen any of them. And if you look up KV Core today, it's considered the number one uh, lead generating serum system out there in the country right now. But I always say this to go, my first four years, I kept asking agents because everybody's always talking about KV Core. And I'd, I'd, most agents, when I'd say, so how, do you use the KV Core? How's it been working for you? And most of the time I'd be like, no, I'm not really using it. I said, do you mind me asking why? It was usually this, man, I don't know how to set it up. Or they'd figure out how to set it up but then there's a hundred hours worth of YouTube videos and they're so overwhelmed. They just don't ever take the time to learn it. Well, we finally, our leadership group came together and said, look, let's either quit talking about KV core or let's fix it to where all of our agents can use it. Well, we hired an executive assistant back January of 2022, been in the industry for 25 years, um, been around real estate, was over at KW for 10 years, helped them build out the West coast. I say that to go, 
we said, Kim, we want you to come in and learn KV Core inside and out. She spent about 40 hours learning that thing inside and out, and we've now got it implemented. Every agent I bring on, if they're wanting to grow their production, not only will we set up your KV Core, not only will we train you how to use it, we can even go a step further. Kim, for only 150 bucks a month, she'll run it for you. She'll do all your blog posts, all your social media posts. She'll communicate with your sphere and all that. So if you're someone going, I don't want to have to do that, but if I could have somebody do it for me, the average agent we're bringing over that plugs in and uses it the way we teach them, growing an extra six, eight, ten deals a year. Wow. So if you're someone looking at this going... For well, 150 I, bucks a month. Yeah. So if you <laughs> spend, what, $1,800 for the year, if it led to, let's see, cut that in half. Let's say it was three to four additional home sales, but they're $350,000 homes. It's an extra thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 a year, and you spent eighteen hundred. So if you've ever going, what can I do to go to the next level? Maybe you're not real tech savvy like I, you don't want to go through the learning curve and all that. We will not only, like I said, train you where you understand what she's doing, but you can turn it over to her and let her run it for you. And with AI and all that built into it. So again, if you're someone looking to grow production, please don't think it's just the stock and the rev share. 88% of our agents that have joined are not coming over for the attraction rev share. They come over for everything else. The training, the lead generation through KV Core, and the equity ownership. Those are the three pieces. And then the trainings, there's something else I love to drive home. And I've just learned this being here for six years from all the mega agents that have come over. Everyone almost say, you're hesitant from the outside looking at DXP going, God, if you're not going to have a physical office, how are we going to get camaraderie and culture and all that? It's 100% the opposite. Anybody comes in and after they've been here for six months, they're going, I've never seen, and you can speak to this 20 years, and never seen camaraderie and culture like what exists here. And I think the biggest reason we all have identified why that's happening because we're all shareholders, because everybody, the moment you sell your first house, you become a shareholder. Well, everybody wants everybody to sell more houses because the more we do, good chance our stock is going to go in a positive direction. So we're hearing from agents over here right now, big hitters that come over, they were the trainer in their office. And after they're here for a while, they'd be up front and they say, look, I never shared everything. I'm not going to open up my entire playbook to the agents in my brokerage. Why? It's taking food off their table. They come over here because we're international. And as trainers, half the time you're training, probably 99% of the audience isn't in your backyard. That's right. But, but you're also thinking, God, if I can help everybody sell more and we continue to grow as a company, the stock's going to hopefully go in this direction. So everybody is helping everybody in a way that I think has never existed. I hear that from agents. You, you speak to that because I'd love to hear your opinion on that as well. No, I 100% agree with that. And that has literally come up in, in organically in every interview that I've done here at shareholders. Yeah. And and you can, you're, we're here at the uh, EXP shareholder event in Orlando. It's all about, you know, the stock and our company. And and, and so when you're at these events, you, you physically feel this energy that mm -hmm. he's talking about. And um, we are all sharing with one another. And, and that is because we've all figured out, like, the way to grow this company is through value and giving back value to every single agent that you can touch so that they can grow their business. When their business grows, we attract more and more talent to our company. Mm -hmm. Our company continues to grow. Our stock continues to grow. Everybody wins. So we we've, we've all figured that out, mm -hmm. and and so that's really a big focus of both the company and the agents within the company, which is a growth mindset, a value add mindset. How can we all get better as a team? Yeah, we are one company. It sets us apart from every other big brokerage out there. You know, name any other big big brokerage out there, and that's a franchise company. And we are not a franchise company. We're one brokerage we operate as one community one culture yeah yeah and we're we're domestic we're international we're all over canada uh we're in 27 countries yeah um and i was gonna say if i if i speak to what you're talking about it's because that is something if you're you've been in real estate for a while and you really are a big thinker and this is your career and you're wanting to take this off and right off into the sunset one day when you think we have no borders for a minute i mean i've got agents who have joined the team who are selling in three different states and they had three different caps over here, they come over and they have one cap. No matter how many states or countries you want to be selling in, first of all, that's phenomenal. So one cap to help you get to 100% very quickly. But because the borders have been broken down, you know, if you're looking at this right now and maybe you decided to join EXP one day and maybe you're in New York, but you have a friend in LA or your cousin and they're a realtor, it's incredible to think we do this all day. 
you jump on a Zoom, you share with your good friend why you came over, what it's done for you. If they decide to join, all of a sudden now you're having transactions done in another state. This begins to happen and all of a sudden I've looked up now six years later, I've got business being done in 48 states and eight countries around the world to the tune of 700 to 1200 transactions a month are being done in my group, whether I sell a house or not. And that all because the model is so darn attractive that if agents will truly, agents, team leaders, and brokers will truly identify this model, have someone really break it down, compare it to what you're doing, there's just, on an apples to apples comparison, we usually beat everybody. But the time you throw in all these, you know, other little benefits and stuff we're talking about, we just completely just separate ourselves and we're hearing it because we can share stories with you guys endless on people's lives that have totally changed. Like you, they were in real estate 15 or 20 years, come over here and five years later, their whole life looks different because of this model. Sean, I'm gonna, I, I got one last question for you because this has been phenomenal um, conversation and, and great information. I'm so glad you were so I'm glad open you asked and, and me, shared. So thank you. Um, how many total agents do, have you either personally or directly or indirectly come to EXP Realty because of you? Uh, I've, I've sponsored in a little over six years 55 agents, so not even one of my 10 a year. So nothing unbelievable, right? I know, I know people that build a brokerage that bring in 20, 30 agents in a, in a year. So I've only had 10, but those 55 have led to, we had it as high as about 26 to 2,700 through my seven tiers that are across 48 states and eight countries. And I always tell people, I know I'm blessed beyond measure, praise God every day about it, but it's unreal to think I don't know 2,000 of those agents. I might know four or 500, but 2,000, I, I wouldn't know if I saw them, right? Because that's organically, this thing has just grown and we can't stop it. So it's growing today by about, 50 to 60 agents every single month. Whether I do anything or not, I'm just watching this team continue to grow and all of a sudden another country will open and I'm like, oh my gosh, you get so overwhelmed with joy to go, man, I don't, I don't really deserve this, right? But it's, it's, thank God I just saw something. Thank God for Jay Nelson and some of the other people that I reached out to that they saw the same thing I did, came over and, and buy. And it's funny, it. yeah, Jay will always say to me, he goes, dude, I'm forever grateful you've changed my life. And I'm like, reverse that i'm like jay you changed my entire family's life because you said yes you know so it's uh anyway just uh, i get elated thinking about what this can do for an agent if they want to come over and you're going to sell for the next five or ten years you owe it to yourself to truly evaluate this model and i would tell you come over no matter what for a year put your head down figure out what all of us are doing and you tell me if one year later if you didn't find the best place you could ever hang your license i really mean that this is a guy who's been at EXP Realty for six years. He came over with two weeks experience <laughs> as a real estate agent. He has 2,700 agents that he has helped bring over to this brokerage. He doesn't even need to be here right now. He doesn't, if he doesn't bring on another yeah. agent, his family is set, but you want, he's here to learn, to grow, to help our team, to help the Freedom Team, Absolutely. to give us value, to bring value back. And that is the mindset of the Freedom Team. Yeah. And that is the common theme throughout every, yeah. every one of our yeah. leaders. I'm glad you're saying that. I'll say one comment, why I keep coming back, because of the stories. Because when you, when you see, when someone's thanking you for sharing this model with them, and I hear that at least once a month from somebody, how this model has changed yeah. their life, and or whether I was indirectly involved in that, but the stories is what just keeps yeah. you going because you're seeing, I can truly change somebody's life. And that just sounds weird, joining a brokerage. How could it do that? <laughs> like I said, you can listen to her YouTube channel. I'm sure she's going to keep doing these interviews. And you're going to hear so many people's lives as an agent, team leader, broker that came over and their life has changed. Not just the real estate business, their life. And that is truly what this whole model has done for the entire industry. I am the only agent that I know that does not thank my sponsor. I actually tell him that I'm very mad at him <laughs> because he did not tell me about it sooner. Uh -huh. And he says, well, Aileen, you were my very first phone call when I, when I looked at it. I said, well, I'm still mad at you because you should have known about it sooner. <laughs> so uh, that's going to just about do it for our interview with Sean Sturrock. Uh, hope you found this information helpful. Hope you found this uh, useful. Be sure, if this is your first time to the channel, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe button, and ring the little bell. That way you can be one of the first ones notified each and every time. Uh, we put out new content so you can learn all there is to know about eXp Realty, being an agent at eXp Realty, 
everything there is to know. Um, so we hope you check out some other videos. And remember, if there's anything that we can do for you, any questions you need answered, be sure to reach out to us. We'd love to help. Have a great day.